What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Chronicles on YouTube. Today we are actually in Seattle, Washington for the second week fest stop of the season. Uh, we are in Seattle, one of my favorite stops. Just got back from Japan about a week ago. I haven't really caught up on sleep or anything because it's been so busy. But this show looks to be a good one and uh, got some good vibes going today so hopefully it's a good one. from Serial 9. Look at that. Came all the way down from Vancouver. It's a Mark II Blit wagon. The 34 Skyline GTR. It has a version select front lip and a canard setup. 19 inch TEs. Pretty simple setup. Oh, oh, it's from Vancouver. Let's see. It's the guys from Overtake. It's like a BMW crew. As you guys can see, it's a lot of them. All really nice newer BMWs. Pretty clean. The M4 right here. A lot of BBS stuff and more traditional European styling. Oh, and a bunch of Supras. Oh, this is nice. 997 with some Meisters on it. That looks good, dude. That's super yeah, clean. Just like white on white. Yep. Yeah. Chewy, like, Chewy likes this FD. Look how clean this thing is. It's white on white. Desmond Marquise Pramada wheels. Man, that is a good look. A couple of FK8s here. This one has a spoon front bumper. C28, mm, Spoon Wing, on well, Yokohama's too, Niova's on there, Spoon Rear Bumper too, wow look at that, Spoon Exhaust, Spoon Seats, Spoon Mirrors, Spoon Mirrors are ballers. Super expensive because the base has to be made out of aluminum, so it's not your typical fiberglass mirror, you know. Yeah, we even got spoon brake pads. Look at that. Another one. So it's a Mugen front lip, Mugen side skirts, Mugen rear, Mugen hood too. Mm. So the Mugen front grill, carbon fiber one, Z40s. Voltex wing. Oh, you can tail lights too. A couple of wide body Lamborghinis, the Ventadors. Yeah, this one looks kind of serious. I don't know anything about it. Full carbon fiber. Oh damn! Pretty got a turd on his car. Sounds really good. Hello. <laughs> it's 
the main feature car area, I guess you can say. Got a nice little backdrop here like last year. But we gotta lay out this plastic because they don't want cars driving on the carpet. So it's gonna be a little difficult getting the rest of the cars in here. It's gonna be like a like a game. Don't touch the carpet. The floor is lava. Some guys from Team Menace. Got an Ari Mamiya FD over here. Is it Ari Mamiya? Kind of. Close enough. This is DC2, the Ings from Bumper. Uh, the dreaded PCI side skirts. White tees. The big ass crew, they got 16 cars. Oh. The outside Fortune model FD. This car is actually built by LTMW. It's a M3 styled wagon. Full M3 front end conversion. Yeah, swap and everything too. This car is great. It's the outside wheels also. We got the uh, Takumi with tribal tattoos here. Toyota Crown. PS13. Big tire on this one. Yeah, last car of that group. Yeah. He's with a group? He's with Intel. He's going to show you where you guys want to go. Mashimaro, I think his username is. It's an EG. Mugen front lip. Mugen M7s. But look at this. GR Corolla on Mugen MF10s. You gotta expect the unexpected these days, I guess. It's a very interesting look. I'm in the way? You're in the way. <laughs> oh. It's a very uh, Suchia inspired 8.6 build. You can definitely see the inspiration. Car and fiber hood and headlight covers, TEs, and TRD seats inside, TRD steering wheel. Man, look at that. Super nice. V6 swapped EG from Canada. Haven't seen this car in a while. It's been a couple of years actually. These dingy projector headlights. Supercharged J32 swap. Damn. It's crazy. Oh, that's the fit from last year. I think his name is Daniel? J's fit. That has a swap, I think. No, it's supercharged. HK Supercharger? Could be wrong. I forget. It's a level one ITR. I don't think I've seen this car before in person. Spoon themed. gonna be a pretty day since most of the cars inside the show are Hondas so I got my work cut out for me I guess you can say this E30 M3 
some BBS wheels. The mint condition is an understatement. Oh, look at those Recaros. Damn, look at the interior. Very nice. This whole area has some pretty nice cars, like previous award winners and stuff. So we display them up here, just so the people at the entrance right here can see them as they're coming in. Some of the best cars that this area has to offer. Got Jeremiah's EG here. I've seen this car here the last two years. It always has to seem has some sort of mechanical issue with his cars, but he always makes it. Hayward ITBs, the K24, yeah, K24 A2 swap, Hossport mounts, got a little breather can right here, XRP plumbing throughout. Spent some money on plumbing. It's an MFAB um, oh, radiator coolant reservoir. CSF radiator, spoon cap. Got a vented hood, a J's hood, painted. It's these uh, Escalito seats. This is the same company that made all the ICV seats and the original spoon buckets, but they offer the seats also. It's rare to see in badge though. These must be a new repair. New steering wheel. Got a Battlecraft Chronicle shift knob. All the fixins. Got a full cage too, and it's uh, polished. One of my favorites. So MF10s, blue caps, spoon brakes. Got Terry over here. Hometown hero. This is one of the best engine bays around. See, your engine bay looks good under the skylight. It pops. <laughs> mm-hmm. Billet valve cover, and these billet coil covers too. It's a little much, but yeah, Terry, stun, Hosport mounts. It's, uh, individual throttle bodies are Gen V's, yeah, Gen V's with some polished trumpets. It's like one of the rare times when Terry gets to show his car in Seattle, and he has a good spot with good lighting. Got the rare feels front lip, silver you can have tens, stop tech brakes. He's the original owner of this car too. If you guys don't remember or don't know or are seeing this car for the first time, I bought this GSR brand new from the dealership. And he's had it ever since. This guy's moving gas cap. interior with the full cage dash in into the carpet also and it works with the sunroof so one of the best of all time was Pau's car, Pau's EG. He's actually Terry's cousin, his older cousin. And he is also, I think, might be the second owner or the original owner of this car. He's had this car forever. He used to pick up Terry from high school in this car. And Terry is almost 40 years old. So they've had these cars for a while. 
This one has the Club Edition TEs, endless brakes, engine bay's been repainted. Got a B18C swap in here. This is brand new. C's um, sparkle wire cover. You can airbox. Aeromotive stuff is a signature out here in the Pacific Northwest. Maxim Works header. You just bought this brand new spoon lip too. Just for this event. Still doing some cleaning inside. So if you guys are wondering, the plastic, they don't want us to drive on the carpet, but during the show, we're actually gonna cut the plastic, which is what they're doing right now. Just to make it look a little less tacky, I guess. Spill Masters EP3, another staple from the Pacific Northwest. Chewy over here cutting some carpet. I mean, cutting some plastic. It's turbo setup. It's a new turbo manifold. We didn't have this before, it doesn't seem. Joey, they're gonna have to relay all the plastic when we leave. Yep. So it's gonna be a while before you guys can leave. So I hope you stick around. They might run out of plastic too, so they might have to start shifting plastic back and forth over here. <laughs> <laughs> This is Jackie Law's S2000 from Canada, from BC. Is it still turbocharged? Oh yeah, still turbo. Made the trip down now that all the borders are open and everything again, so we can get all the Canadians down here for the show. It's always good to see them because it's kind of like a parallel universe. There's a lot of cars we're never exposed to. And when the borders are open and they're close by, they can bring their cars out. This is Wii's award-winning Mugen DC5. Another turbocharged K-series set up in here. And Moton suspension. It's a custom sheet metal wide body. It's so subtle that you guys probably wouldn't even be able to tell it. Oh, there's Mel's car too. Never get to show you guys this car. Mel's EP3 is another OG from the Pacific Northwest. Very clean. Mugen kit. It's an NAK series setup. Super simple. MF10s with spoon brakes. A little bit of a struggle happening right now. Oh, look at this. They imported a Hino tow trailer from Japan just to tow these S chassis. It's a good look. Exceed front lip. Group B wheels. No, oh, it's nice too. Also has an exceed lip. Maybe I'm biased. Oh, look at that, another one. That one has a mode front bumper. <laughs> Renegade Motorsports booth looks pretty nice. Your first time doing this? Second time? But it's a nice little setup. Double walled. Looks like a storefront. Got this S2000 on display and this 997 on Advan TC3s? Yeah. 
GT3 front lip. Yeah, GT3 RS. The cup lip? I don't know. I don't know anything about Porsches. And our Renegade brakes. Got their own big brake kit, and then they have these custom mirrors using the Mode Parfume mirrors, and then they had a custom 3D printed mirror base. I, was, I saw this online and I was thinking, I was like, dude, if you're really gonna do like a custom mirror for the 997, what if you made a Ganador mirror for it? How cool would that be? But it's definitely limitations on how you can do that 3D printing and all that stuff. Oh wow, there's a Nardi wheel in here. Battlecraft quick release, and QR1, the CAE shifter, Macaro seats, so roll bar here, wow, silver metallic flake, this car is cool, a lot of Japanese influence, Japanese styled Euros are always cool, week best booth this year, some plants that we took from the Airbnb. <laughs> Isn't that new? Your your white pasty complexion. <laughs> so mid-engine FD over here from Canada. Styling is a little interesting, but the fact that it has a mid-engine is uh, very unique. You can see the fuel cell in there. Wow, what the hell? Twin turbo. Twin turbo V6. <laughs> Very interesting. Spoon FK8. Spoon front bumper. Oh, this is the one we saw outside earlier. Spoon everything, huh? We got the, the turbo blanket. I don't know if it has the spoon turbo upgrade though. Does it? Let's see. Engine blade. Mm -hmm. mm, doesn't look like it. I mean, here's everything else. I've got a picture with Ichi too. Bronze C28s. No, they're not letting people in yet. Oh, what the hell? Spoon wheel in the box. Got a random Sparco seat here. Signed Spoon Momo Monte Carlo. The spoon wing on top too. So, unfortunately, I wasn't able to film much today. The show just got too busy. So many cars to judge. So many people to talk to that I didn't get much footage. Sadly, because it's such a good event. Had so many nice cars. But definitely spent most of my time just getting photos because photos are pretty important for this trip just to document what we're doing here. Hopefully next time, have a little bit more time to shoot stuff. I think the, the burnout effect is starting to kick in. We're just getting a little too tired and wearing myself too thin. I'm trying to do judging, MC, photos, video and everything. But apologize for that one since there's a lot of good stuff here. Next time, promise, we'll do better.